my mind went back to to my time working at Tesco in my last corporate job before I started building building my own business. And one of the challenges that I had at the time, which I, I think is quite common, a lot of my um, clients talk to me ab- about this, is when when we're employed by a big organization, there's a certain degree where we need to promote ourselves. We really need to be thinking about our personal brand. So we get thought about for those new opportunities if, if that's what we are, are looking for. For some of us, I think we can struggle to promote ourselves because it maybe it, it doesn't feel that congruent or it feels like we're being overly political or for some of us in the UK, it just feels not, not very British. Um, how, what would you say to those people and how do, how do we strike that balance between having a really strong, authentic brand that positions ourselves well but without overdoing it and overly, overly pr- promoting ourselves, if that's even such a thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a great question, and I think sometimes the word word personal brand, the words personal brand, do conjure up this. You know, you can overdo it, and is it a little bit false? And and it's 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 too mercenary. It's too much about me. Um, so sometimes the word brand doesn't work, but it's more about the reputation. And and when I'm coaching people, particularly, what I'll delve into and and really work on hard is is that if you're being the best you can be and if you can define your expertise and the value that you bring to your team to your company and you're not just somebody who goes through the motions every day if you work on that which is obviously great for you it helps the company because the company then get the most from you and I I always say to companies that there is a well a couple of things that you that your brand today really is what your clients say about your brand to their contacts. That's how your brand builds, your reputation builds. It's no longer just about logos and advertising and websites. And therefore, that that um, interaction that people have, that they talk about, always comes from a person. So that person really is the brand. So we need to have a team of people. We need to have employees who really are clear about what their brand is and what their value is that they bring to the organization. So companies are starting to realize that and this investment in individual brands and individuals can really um, understand why that's important because it's what the company needs. So as long as you can get over that piece where it's not just about me, it's about how I serve my clients best and it's how I serve my company best then um that then it's kind of plain sailing from 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 that point on so it's not just all about me i call it a new wave of branding um often when especially for leaders within an organization if you can develop leaders with strong identifiable brands that are differentiated um that aren't just about being the marketing director of xyz company but actually being an expert in a particular field that person gets more exposure external to the company on panels on media interviews with presentations at conferences and obviously that brings in PR for the business because it's about the personality of the business that's getting out there via people so it's it's a very holistic way of looking at it and it's benefit to the business and to the individual and when both sides realize that it's very powerful 